Welcome back Virgo, uh, I'm Dedici Toss, the principal astrologer from astrology.com.au and like last, last month I'm here to give you a brief overview, I don't want to bore you with too many details, uh, just to give you an insight into where the planets are moving now and how that might be affecting you. First things first, I really like the fact that uh, that inimical planet to you, Mars, will be moving out of your sun sign um, very, very shortly. Now, let me have a look at the transit uh, channel on that. It shows me here it moves out of uh, your sun sign on the 3rd. So that's in a few days from now. Whatever angst and sort of uh, troubled energy you've been experiencing during uh, this last couple of months, particularly the last month, is attributed to this single planet, the ruler of the eighth place from Virgo, considered pretty harsh, pretty damaging. <coughs> You're angry at the moment. You may even be feeling uh, physically uh, unwell from this. Generally, this can show troubles and you know, putting out bushfires everywhere. And so you mustn't react too much. The good news is it's only going to last for a few more days anyhow. It then does move to your finance sector uh, and being the ruler of the eighth space which is shared finances you know money kept in banks your taxes annuities all that sort of stuff it'll be moving in your finance zone so there will definitely be a focus even a drive some sort of push to yeah, get more control over your finances just now perhaps you've been um, up to this point more in a um, uh, reactive mode rather than a proactive mode and I see this month being a turning point for you in that specific area your ruling planet is Mercury <coughs> fast moving whizzer I call it it's the closest planet to the Sun uh, it uh, obviously makes a lot of different aspects we see here on the let's have a look here got to get my bearings here the fourth and fifth we have uh, these are friendly aspects what this shows is that you know, the early part of the the uh, week uh, the early part of the month should be pretty good for you there the expansive quality of Mars and Jupiter I've been talking about Mars for you though, though it's not a friendly planet there's a very powerful and fortuitous energy arising around the 17th of July and uh, that is actually coming from your career sector to your finance sector so these two houses of your horoscope are very much to do with the practical affairs of life the uh, push to get some uh, better positioning professionally <coughs> and if you've been challenged to attain some sort of position where you've been working uh, or you've had your vision on something that's been a bit blurred, things can come into focus now, not even just uh, in terms of your imagination or your planning. This, is, this could actually be pr practical stuff that uh, will, will take place. Still a lot more thinking, a lot more planning can go into whatever ideas you have, but by, by all means you, you, you have clarity now and you know where you're going in that sense. Don't worry too much about Saturn being in this second space of money and earnings it can slow things down but when you've got this combined influence of Mars and Saturn that's like having the fe uh, your feet on the brake and the accelerator at the same time um, for a while you may not go anywhere I just say take your feet off both <laughs> just save energy uh, you don't need to burn rubber if you can do that then I think you're going to see some very very significant um, twists and turns for the for the better in these areas of your of your life. Someone is going to maybe provide you some new opportunities now, because Jupiter for you uh, is very much to do with the seventh house. The sign of uh, Pisces is co-ruled by Jupiter, and this sign has to do with the world generally. You could be very popular with people just now, and if you need anything. Asking others to give you a hand will be met with um, 
Uh, a smile and, uh, well, how can I help you? Response. Uh, use that, don't abuse it. Uh, this will turn out to be uh, a good month after all for you, from what I can see. You have the power of speech, the power to impress after the 22nd, when your ruling planet Mercury enters into the favourable aspect of Mars as well. And that uh, is the planet we were talking about being very strongly linked to these events in your work, finance and uh, personal and financial security. Look forward to seeing you here again next month. Uh, in the meantime, please join me at my website, astrology.com.au. I'm Dedichi Toth, the uh, principal astrologer uh, from uh, that domain. Uh, feel free to join us there for a lot of free updates, uh, daily horoscopes. And of course, if you need to contact me, you can do so there at the website. Have a great month. See you again soon. Bye-bye.